OV ho. Say OV ho. Then step this way. Step that way. Then step this way. Step that way. Are you my friend? Are we live? Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center. The home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscriber right now. So, Fury Usik on this period about is just less than um two weeks away o okay it is quite interesting that um this fight is almost near may 18th next saturday wow so people have been giving their opinion on who wins this fight joshua is the recent guy to give his opinion and prediction Joshua said that uh, um, Fury, uh, he, he believes that Usyk beat Fury because he hasn't been in the ring professionally against Fury, with Fury, to determine that. But he's been in twice with Usyk and he believes Usyk has got the, this, there's, there's something about Usyk, the style and way he fights, his determination, his story, there's just something about Usyk that even though Usyk is not a, he's not a big heavyweight. He's not what you call. He's a he's a blown up um, cruiserweight basically. But I, I, what surprised me about Usyk is that I watched a lot of his fights um, in the cru in cruiserweight, and um, and his movement was just very interesting. The way he moves, the way he boxes, the way like he's a southpaw, he, like you know his footwork is legit, you know. It's just like he's a is a is a boxing maestro. Usyk is a boxing maestro. Very talented. I do wish Usyk spoke English though. I think he would have been a bigger star than this because, I mean, him beating Joshua twice is not even talked about enough. Uh, Ruiz win over Joshua is still be talked about now because Ruiz speaks English. He was born in a is a is Mexican American born in a in Baja California, you know, um, USA. So. You know, he speaks English and then Spanish, you know, you know what I mean? So, uh, I wish Usyk uh, spoke, I mean, Usyk could come I wish Usyk spoke English, basically. I wish he speaks English. I think that would have been, he would have been a bigger star than this, you know. I know Usyk is a very calm guy. He doesn't trash talk anyone. He just tell you, he says, I'm feeling something like that. I think that's what he said. I feel something like that very in incredible guy but i don't think though the second fight against joshua was was basically it was a close fight and they gave usik the edge because you know Usyk, because of what ukraine the ukraine war and stuff like that and i know what happened it was basically politics in a way but i'm not saying that he didn't win he didn't win just that it was a close fight and who knows it the first fight he won without doubt but the second fight joshua did put up put it put it put up a good fight so it would be nice and be interesting to see a trilogy between these two guys in the future who is already like getting to that age where he might not be able to keep up but eastern europeans are very dedicated um they are re athletes, you know. They are not like you know. They are not like American fighters that after making money, they they go astray, you know, become like a a sissy, become a sissy. Eastern Europeans, no matter how much they make, they still keep that education. Even Klitschko nowadays, Klitschko doesn't is not a fighter anymore, right? But Klitschko still trains like a fighter. This is how you know people who really who take the sport serious. Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko still, still takes, um, like he still, he still fight, he basically, he still trains like a fighter. The routine he kept in his, during his uh, boxing, um, uh, his boxing career, is still there. You know, it's still there. The regime, the, 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 the routine, you know, the way he trains, he trains, he trains like a military man. He's still there. That's that's what I mean. That's what's amazing about about uh, Eastern European fighters, because you have to respect their dedication. 
even though some of them don't make it to the top, like Usyk, Klitschko, the Klitschko brothers and stuff like that did. But you have to respect their determination. Even Lomachenko still trains now. Even though he's like, like of course, he's still, still boxing. I think he has a fight coming up with Camboso. Yeah. Lomachenko might be past it, but they still train like challengers, basically. Not people who are like, who've had over the under amateur fight and stuff like that. Champions and you know what I mean? So, yeah. Looking at this this fight right here, I, I saw a video of um, I saw a video of uh Tyson Fury. Um, I think he's yeah right. I think he's now in Saudi. Our brother should be in Saudi soon. Uh, Joshua Wahab. Um, yeah, I need to get in touch with him. Like, we we both haven't been able to get in touch with each other now. Like uh. You know the time I the time I'm available and I call him, uh, he's training, and the time is available. I'm at work, so I don't know how we're gonna do it, man. Early after the after the fight, but on the on the card, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, who was sick? This was Fury. How does this fight go? Well, I've been I've been watching both fighters. I've been in the sky yes you might say fury should be the, like should, should be the winner basically should fury should win this fight basically but knowing fury is not because fury is going against someone with similar someone is not fury is not fury's boxing iq is not higher than uh six boxing, boxing iq basically they are of similar level basically Boxing IQ wise, because Usyk has been fighting since he was a teenager. Fury the same thing. I mean, they were young, very young. Not a teenager, but very young. You know, I mean, I think Fury started fighting when he was five. I don't know if it's true, but there's that said, he literally like uh, he was born with box boxing gloves. Fury, Usyk, I don't know. I don't know when he started fighting, probably when he was a teenager, maybe. But like I said, boxing IQ wise, those guys are of the of similar level. Usyk might be a little bit higher because he's um, a leaping good medalist. Let's keep it real right there. Then you look at the size. Fury is way bigger. He's six nine. I think Usyk is six five or something or six four. Uh, but Fury has problem with short fighters. The same problem Joshua has. Fury has that. You know, other than Deontay Water that dropped Fury, you know, I think Deontay Water is the only big guy, like tall guy, who dropped Fury. The rest of the guys that have dropped Fury before were like short guys. I think Steve Cunningham is a short guy. Um, McDermott. He's a short guy. He's not a big, big man like that. Of course, in like the big guy, but I mean, in terms of, he's not a giant. The Fury. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Gano is also a short guy. I'm gonna six four, right? Yeah, I'm gonna six four. He's not a big guy. Fury is six nine. So Fury, and also you look at the problems he had with uh. Otto Wallen, yeah, you can easily say that Fury has problems with shorter guys. And what he needs to do, he needs to adapt. You know, he needs to adapt and needs to change, have a change of style because he cannot fight Usyk the way he fought. Um, um, yeah, the way he fought Otto Wallen, that would be a disaster because Usyk. It is not a joke. I'm very intrigued by this fight, but I still don't know if Fury steps in the ring. I will believe it when Fury steps in that ring. And Fury is beginning to respect Usyk now because before he caught him immediate and stuff like that. Now he's changed his tone to say Fury, uh, Usyk is a bad man. And I know that His Excellency has already scheduled, uh, there's, there's a scheduled a rematch for October or something like that. I don't think Fury takes that rematch. 
if he beats Usyk. I don't think so. I don't think so. Usyk will take the rematch. Usyk is that kind of guy that doesn't duck a challenge. Fury, on the other hand, is a diva. I would say yes. Fury is more. Is Fury is better for boxing because of his trash talk, his persona. Is more. Is like you can tell. He's more relatable to a lot of people than Usyk. Usyk is a quiet guy. Doesn't speak English. Um, his 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 persona is different. He's an Eastern European persona. So you, the lot most of the world can't relate to Usyk like that. They can't. A different different. It comes from a different demographic, bro. Very different. Only people that can relate with Usyk are Eastern Europeans, or Eastern, you know, the the so the former Soviet uh, uh, countries, people from some African countries like uh, Kazakhstan, you know, Uzbekistan, those places, those places, man. Those ones are the ones that can relate to to Usyk because those guys have a military mentality and the way they train, the way they fight. Some of them will ro- ro- they, they they wrestle with bears basically. Fury, on the other hand, has this persona that is very like relatable to the rest of the world purely because of western influence and uh, it's just different it's just different so i want fury to win but because he's a diva uh, I, I, I don't want him to win at the same time so it's gonna be i'm very conflicted bro i don't know what do you what do you guys think do you do you guys want fury to win this fight so they can see the Joshua fight in the future because I think tell, I'm telling you right now, despite His Excellency having the rematch planned already, if Fury beats Usyk, he's not taking that rematch, bro. He will try to duck out the same way he tried to try to do that. He tried against Wilder, remember the trilogy fight? It was a back and forth thing. But Usyk possesses more more challenge for 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 Fury because Usyk is a boxing maestro. So Fury would then have to play. He's not someone who's just gonna go there and and, and and beat up. So, man, I see Fury getting dropped in this fight, but I see him getting back up and dominated. Or I see Fury going back to the Klitschko start the, the style he used he used for Klitschko, maybe going back there again. Making the fight so boring, scoring points by jab, and things like that. You know what I mean? Anyways, man, I don't know what to say. I'm just like in the, I'm conflicted, bro. Um, I don't know who wins. I want Fury to win. I also don't want Fury to win. Cause he wins, he might just not fight. We will stick in a rematch, and wouldn't give us two for a fight. He will call himself the greatest heavyweight of all time, which we know is a lie. But yeah, on this period is not a joke, bro. Only few fighters will be able to claim that that throne. And Fury, yeah, I don't know, man. Ah, oh, get up, little guys. Share, like, and subscribe. God bless you. Cheers.